All right, we're here with Mark Haddo, Joe DePinto, and David Herbeck. They made their professional debuts last night. Mark and David hit home runs for their first career professional hits. Joe hit a double. His stayed in the yard, a little ground ball through right down the left field line. It was a line drive. <laughs> a line drive. Now, guys, uh, you know, first game, did you have any nerves? Uh, were you calm? You know, what was that experience like when you got to the ballpark? I definitely had some nerves going on. Just because it's in the back of your mind, you're thinking it's my first professional game. You know, you don't really know what to expect. And, um, you know, as soon as the first pitch is thrown, I know I settled down. And I'm sure everyone else did as well. Uh, I remember talking to you before the game about it, making sure that I wasn't the only one that was a little nervous. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there was some nerves going on. I tried to keep it calm. Um, I didn't have to play in the field. I just did it, so it was a little bit easier for me. But once you see that first pitch, I mean, it, it all just reverts back to, you know, what you've been doing your entire life. Well, you know, what was that like? I mean, you guys, David and Joe, you guys each had some opportunities in the field uh, before you came to the plate. You had that, that catch you had to make over the shoulder in the first inning, Joe. You had a ground ball, I think, to end the first inning. Is that right? It, did it, Do you feel like playing in the field kind of helped you get into the flow of the game, whereas you kind of had to wait for your turn to hit? Yeah, for me, the start of every season, just getting that first ground ball out of the way. Actually, the first play of the game on defense. <laughs> you both messed it up. <laughs> yeah. so, How so? Well, neither of us caught the relay throw. From the oh, game. oh, that's <laughs> right, that's right. So, other than that, though. Is it, I mean, you didn't DH much at, at Santa Barbara, did you? At least, no. especially this last year? I mean, I haven't DH since last summer ball. But, um, you know, I just try to keep myself a active in the dugout. Um, you know, I'm used to playing in the field, so I have to kind of walk around and play catch with the outfield. Uh, keep myself ready um, just to stay into the game yeah. now you know and you, be honest you know, I don't know did, did any of you guys anticipate getting the start for the first game um, I mean I kept it open I didn't want to you know tell myself I wasn't going to start but I knew there was plenty of good players that you know had been playing there as a ball league and it was obviously our first professional game but uh, you know I was prepared regardless yeah, you really have to prepare like you are, um, even though I don't think you, any of us knew for sure. So, you know, you prepare like, like you're going to play, and, and if you do, you're ready, and if you don't, you're ready to go. And did you guys get, when you saw your name on the lineup card, did you get a little, you know, a little bit of butterfly action going on just, just to see your name, knowing that you're getting the start and, you know, what was going to be your first game with the Voyagers? I think there were a lot of butterflies regardless <laughs> of the names on the card or not. I don't think that really added to it. You know. Yeah? I'm just, yeah, I'm just excited. Now, you step into the box for the first time. More or, or, or less nervous? I mean, you can, Mark, you're saying you try to keep it calm. I mean, I know from a broadcaster's perspective, I, I didn't think I was going to be nervous, but when I stepped into the press box and it was 10 minutes still getting on air, you know, I was more nervous than I could have expected. You can try as much as you want to stay calm, but, I mean, when you stepped in the box the first time, now, I think all three of you, not you didn't get a hit your first time. And it was the second time for Joe and Mark, and then, it took you all the way till the ninth inning till you got your hit. But, you know, were the nerves when you stepped in the box a little higher than you would have thought? I don't know. For me, once I stepped in the box, I was good. Um, I actually forgot who I was hitting behind, so I just scrambled <laughs> to get on deck and, and get a few hacks in. But You're not used to hitting uh, that, that low in the order, are you? I'm not, but, you know, you don't really think about that. Or yeah, that yeah. Now, the first hit – whether it's rounding the bases, David, Mark, or going back in the dugout, or Joe, when you, you stood at second and, and you took your shin guard off, what, what was that feeling like, knowing that, you know, listen, and, and I'm sure you guys had a thought it was going to come eventually, but to be able to do it in your first game, to be able to have an extra base hit, Mark, yours was a big hit. It was a 2-2 ball game, and it kind of sparked a bit of a rally or continued to rally, gave the team the lead. What was that feeling like? Uh, just I think more of a feeling of relief um, that you don't have to worry about getting that first hit anymore. You don't have to worry about getting that first home run. Uh, and you did early on. And, and uh, it feels good that you're helping out the team. And, and it also feels like you're part of the team now that you contributed mm -hmm. to something mm -hmm. greater than you. Don't worry about that first home run. I think I'll be worried about that. I'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about these two. But, um, you know, just to be able to contribute in a game that you win. You know, yeah, it was exciting to be out there. But, honestly, it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. I wasn't like as overwhelmed as I thought I would be. Um, 
I had a friend play center field for the team. He came in and said congratulations. So that was cool. That's neat. Yeah. I know for mine, I was I would have been happy with a flare over first base or <laughs> swinging bunt, but I I couldn't believe my first one was a home run. See, the thing these two, they hit the ball out, so they didn't get to keep the ball. So <laughs> yeah, I, you have your I ball. That's why you, so you were holding it off the bus. I know that now. <laughs> Marks hasn't landed yet. Yeah, <laughs> jeez. Well, so I mean, I, Mark, I can only imagine that the minute you hit the ball, you knew it was gone. Did you, did you have any idea the minute it left your bat that it might go out? Because uh, I mean, your still crossed my mind, but yeah. I was still definitely yeah. hustling around. I so. mean, your, yours wasn't a, a wall scraper by any means, but I don't, I don't know if it was a moonshots like Mark. Now, it was, it wasn't half as far as Mark's. So. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was on deck. I saw him watching. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys get back on the bus. First text or phone call. Who was it? Who was it to? Okay. So I had one from parents, girlfriend, um, brother. That's neat. Well, I'm from the East Coast, so everyone was asleep. They were asleep. So I had a text from my mom. See if you would have. Hey, we went to bed in the fourth. Let me know how it goes. You could have done it earlier. They could have. They could have heard it at least. I know. Now uh, you guys celebrated by going to Old Chicago post game meal. What was the uh, the first meal that you had following your uh, professional debut? Uh, steak and cheese uh, calzone. Great way to celebrate. Wasting all the meal money in one one meal. <laughs> There you go. Well, it's Mark Haddo, Joe DePinto, and David Herbeck. They made their professional debuts last night, and all three played big roles in the Voyagers' season opening win. It was a 9-4 final score over the Billings Mustangs. The season continues later tonight over at Dealer Park. Guys, thank you very much.